Hi there. Today we're going to read Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andre and Guy Parker Reese. But before we read Giraffes Can't Dance, I think it would be best if you heard the book from a giraffe. Maybe. Let's see if we'll get all ready. Button up. All right. Now we can start our book. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his neck, his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. He looks very happy eating the shoots off the trees. Uh oh He looks a little scared or maybe sad when he's falling to the ground. Now every year in Africa they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing he was really very bad. Because all the animals are dancing, but Gerald doesn't know how to dance. That makes him feel sad. The warthog, warthog started waltzing, and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel, and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor, but the lions saw his, him coming and they soon began to roar. Can you roar like a lion? Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fo fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Do you think those words were making Gerald feel good? I don't think those were very nice words. Oh, no. Look at Gerald's face. Those words made him feel very sad. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor, and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. There's all the other animals having fun and playing together. But they did not, they were not very nice to Gerald, so he is sad and he's going home. Then he found a little clearing and looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed the cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. There's the cricket. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is the br is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. Gerald's eyes are closed. He's listening to all the sounds around him. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying, and his tail was swishing round. Look. He's starting to dance. He threw his arms out sideways, and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes, I am dancing, I am dancing, Gerald cried. Look at his face. He looks very happy now that the cricket helped him learn how to dance. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle, we must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. 
His friends are all excited that he learned how to dance. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. They're all looking at the moon. Gerald has all his friends back. And that's the end of Giraffes Can't Dance. Alright, see you guys next time.